Today's video is going to explain to you a new series on my YouTube channel that I think may be the most beneficial series that I've done to date. For those of you guys that are new to the channel, my name is Cody and this channel kind of centers around this really one goal of helping and growing in community together as we improve in the game of Madden NFL 16. And so we do that through a variety of types of content. Uh, we also have some products that you can purchase that the gear that are geared to kind of help you there as well. But the one thing that I think I've not done a very good job of is I've not done a very good job of personally investing within my subscribers and helping you guys on a personal case by case scenario. And it's kind of hard to do that, especially as you start growing in subscriber counts and and, and really just kind of how that whole thing plays together. So what I want to do uh, is, is a very interesting series, and I have something similar that you can actually purchase, uh, and it's a little bit more in-depth, I think, and it's a little bit more well-equipped, but it is the lab sessions. Now, you can purchase a lab session for $20, and what you're going to get when you purchase that is you're going to get, uh, you know, basically we'll be able to talk and we'll be able to play, you know, play one or two games and then I'll video record some of my advice and some of the things that I would do and then I will make you uh, a custom scheme as well as help you from the rest, you know, from then on. But what I would really like to do, and I think something I really think that really can help a lot of people, especially with Madden, is to do that on a little bit less of a scale but still kind of the same concept and what I'm going to try to do is be able to give it to you guys for free uh, on a weekly show and basically what we're going to do here is one subscriber every week uh, and basically we'll pick that by you know you guys commenting on this video so if you're interested comment with your gamer tag and the first person to comment with their gamer tag that I see on my email inbox, I will I will send you guys a message, and uh, and we'll get it going. But the whole premise of this series, guys, is really truly to help you get better. So what I'm going to do is we're going to uh, basically what will happen is you'll comment on this video that you would like to be that you're interested in. Um, unfortunately, you need a PlayStation 4 to do this because I only play on PlayStation 4 for right now until I get the Xbox One. I'm hoping to maybe get the Xbox One for Madden uh, for next season. But uh, for the rest of this year, we'll only be doing it on PlayStation 4. But basically, once you comment, and then, you know, I'll send you a friend request. If you accept the friend request, or maybe, you know, I'll just send you a message and you respond to the message. Then we'll go from there, and we'll get each other's email addresses, and we'll link up that way. And then we'll do a Google Hangout video, or, uh, a Google Hangout call, in which I will record the audio of that call. And then what, I, what we'll do is we'll basically we'll play a full game of Madden. And then after the game of Madden, I will, give you, I will give you kind of my thoughts and recollection. And then what I'll do for you, uh, furthermore, is create a personal scheme hitting on some major points that I see in our gameplay. So, for example, let's say that we play and you have a really, really good running scheme but every time I call man-to-man -man coverage, you have a little bit of trouble beating my defense. Then I will tell you that, obviously, after the game when we do a little recap. But, however, towards uh, I will also make a video and post that video on the YouTube channel for you to see it. And what we'll do is uh, you'll be able to have a personalized scheme from a playbook of your choice. So, you know, for example, say you really like the Falcons playbook, and that's what you want to run then I will give you that personalized scheme and I'll do it on, you know, both sides, offense and defense. If you don't run my uh ebooks, then you know I will definitely, you know, customize it to what you can have and what I would do with your scheme. And guys, really the only way to truly understand the way this works is to, you know, do it a couple of times and see how it goes. Uh, you know, on your end. But guys, I think it's a really good opportunity. I know a lot of people charge for this kind of service and I'm going to be giving it to you for free. So, you know, I definitely think this is a really, really cool opportunity for you guys to take advantage of. Uh, whether you think I'm a, you know, really smart guy or not, uh, what I'm hoping you see here is that this is the opportunity for, number one, for you to play a game with me in which I'm going to give you some recap, but also for you to get to play and not only have me give recap, but have the community of everyone that's a part of this community here, a part of our YouTube channel, 
which you can become a part of if you're not by hitting that subscribe button below. It's free of charge. But basically, everybody that's in our community is going to have that same opportunity to give you feedback. And so my goal is not just for me to tell you what I think you should do, but it's also for the community, once they see the videos on YouTube, and they dissect it to say, oh, you could have done this, or you could have done this better. And I really, truly think this is going to be a phenomenal series, and I'm really, really excited to get it going. Now, obviously, you know, if this series grows into what I hope it will be, we'll have to eventually do random number generators and unfortunately you'll only be able to play once or twice uh, per season but I really truly believe that this series is something that has been in my heart for a long time and I'm really really excited to do it and uh, guys don't don't and also you know we will have these series done weeks in advance and things like that and that's my hope uh, because obviously there are weeks where I won't be available to play you know on specific, you know depending on my schedule so you know, please be flexible with me as much as you can, but I'm really, really hoping that this is going to be good. Uh, guys, and, and as, as kind of a gift to you, I wanted to give you a concept here. Uh, I know a lot of people are struggling with beating two man under, so I wanted to just give you uh, a play from the St. Louis Rams playbook. And I know we've already talked a little bit about this shotgun wing trips weak formation. And we've talked about uh, this play here, motion Y dig. And uh, if you guys haven't seen that breakdown, I'll give you a link to that in the description below. And we actually have a full playbook breakdown on the St. Louis Rams. But I want to give you another play that I've just recently started using. Uh, and I think it's actually, you know, one of the, one of the better plays uh, in the entire game, you know, a, you know for the most part, to, to do this with. And that comes to us from the play action uh, Rams cross. And it's actually uh, the play action audible in this formation. So you can actually have it at your quick... Uh, in your quick audibles. All right, so quarters two man, right? Everybody runs this. This is, this is classic. You know, if you beat their zone blitz, they're gonna run quarter two man, right? Well, what we want to do here is we want to play. Uh, take Eddie Lacy. We want to play this him on a wheel route, and then from there, if they're in this press alignment, uh, you know, we have a couple of options here. But we're gonna motion him to the left side of the screen, and then we're just gonna snap it right before he sets. And what you'll see here is it gets him that nice step. It's going to get him a one-on-one -on -one with that corner, even though the safety's there. So if you have a guy like a Theo Riddick or someone like that, you know this play becomes really good. But the other thing that it's going to do is it's going to give uh, Devontae Adams outside positioning. So basically when he cuts to the outside, oops, he didn't, didn't quite work that time. Whoops. Show you this again, but basically Devonte Adams is going to get separation. You need to kind of have a high route running guy there, but if he doesn't, you can always high pass lead it. It's going to be secure. But the other thing I'm going to tell you is that when you motion Eddie Lacy out, you can put Devonte Adams on a hitch route and you can smart route it. And basically, if they go two man under, you're going to hit this hitch route when he snaps back. Now, what they're going to start doing to take that away is they're going to start dropping this safety on the left side into a hook zone or a flat zone. And when they do that, it's going to leave Eddie Lacy open deep one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, with the corner, and that's what we're looking to get. Now, clearly, you know, you want to have someone a little better than Eddie Lacy there uh, to catch that ball. Another way we can uh, beat man to man from here is to take this route to James Jones, just motioning in a little bit here, getting that unbumpable thing. And he's going to get separation when he cuts across the middle of the field. And Aaron Rodgers just made one of the worst throws I think he's ever made in his career. Let's we'll see if we can get this better for you. But there he cuts across, and you see he's going to be able to beat that man-to-man -man for you. And just a little side note here. This uh, PA Rams cross, one of the really beauties of this play is that you can motion Lacey out on that wheel. You see he's going to turn it into a fade. And if you see them come out on him, you can actually motion him back in a step or two, and he's going to turn this into a wheel route. And as you can see, you're going to get that separation. Well, right there, Harris. We have to clear that space out, though. So let's clear that space out for you and let you see it. So we're going to put Adams on the smart routed hitch route. We're going to motion Lacey out. And what you see is we're going to bring him back and then just hit X as soon as you snap him back, and he's going to come upfield and beat man-to-man. -man. And that's a nice little component because 
that's Eddie Lacy against Bradley Roby in a two-man under scenario. So this truly becomes, you know, one of those plays that you can really work a lot because, you know, if, if they have safety help over top, like right here where it's too high, you can just motion Lacy back to, you know, just one step or two in, and when he cuts up field, he's going to beat it. And it's very consistent because it's a motion snap. Um, you're, you'll find this season that motion snaps are one of the really critical components to beating two men under because it's going to give your receivers uh, a free release. And that's why hitch routes are also really good because they don't get pressed at the line of scrimmage. So by smart routing them, they're going to go 10 yards, which makes it actually a viable route. And the other thing about it is when they snap back, it's just all about it's just all about your uh, catching traffic at that point because they're going to get tackled. Okay, so that's a couple of keys here to beat man. I hope this helps, guys. If this play doesn't help, please let me know. But I've had a lot of success uh, with this play specifically, especially if they try to go, you know, say they try to say they try to mix it up and they try to blitz you, go off coverage. Well, when you run this play, it creates a really big matchup issue uh, for the defense. And that's why we really love this formation is because it just gives so many matchup problems to the defense, especially you know, when you consider the fact that you, what you've been running from that gun, uh, tight, tight end offset. And right there, and that's one of the situations, again, the two men under, you're not necessarily going to throw that, that streak route. But what you would do is if they motion, like for example, sometimes you'll face defenses where they will stay inside. In that situation where they stay inside, it's just a quick pass lead to the outside. Whoops, sorry, hit the wrong button. In those situations, uh, which are actually fairly frequent, when they stay inside, right, like this, it's just a high pass to the outside, and you're going to be able to get a nice opportunity to make a catch. Now, you want to have, like I said, like a – Theo Riddick from the Football Outsiders or someone like that running this. But, you know, for the most part, most backs do pretty good. But, you know, obviously the better catching traffic and all that, the better you're going to – the more success you're going to have. So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to give you this uh, little play here, this little concept. And the other thing I wanted to do was really draw your attention to those lab sessions. So if you're interested in doing a lab session, please leave a comment with your PlayStation 4 online ID information or your email address so that I can contact you and we can set up uh, when we're going to actually execute and play a game. Guys, I want to thank you so much for being a part of my community here. And please let me know if there's anything that I can do to improve the video quality, the content, or anything that I can do specifically to help you improve in Madden 16. Thank you so much, guys, for following me. I really appreciate it, and I don't want you guys to ever not realize.